Okay, well now banker Felipe Basulto is saving up his appetite for authentic Lebanese fare. He's a regular at this pick where he always orders his go-to favorite dishes from the great portion sizes to the welcoming atmosphere. He says this place is a must try for everyone. It's located in Pinecrest and it's called Shadai Fine Lebanese Cuisine. My name is Tony Samour. I'm the chef and owner of Shadai Fine Lebanese Cuisine in the heart of Pinecrest, Florida. First of all, I was born in Bethlehem, in Palestine, and I started cooking when I was eight years old. My specialty at the beginning was hummus and falafel, and with time, my hobby became a business. Shaddai is a blessing from the skies. Shaddai was a God-given name to my wife, Elizabeth, in a dream. Shaddai means God Almighty. When Shaddai was born, everything fell into place. The location, the crew, the business, the customers, everything was falling perfectly. There's a say back in the Arab world, say, greet me before you feed me. Everything we cook here is from the heart. And a specialty here is tapas, which is called in Arabic mezze, where customers walk in, you know, they order a few different plates and they make it as a meal. The hummus, the falafel, the grape leaves, everything I do, I do myself. When the customer walk in through this door, they automatically feel like their family. They feel like they're blessing. I have customers telling me I feel like I'm at home. I feel the energy when I walk in your restaurant. There's something so special about the restaurant here. And I told her this is Shaddai. Felipe, you've been a regular there for a long time, huh? Many years. So tell us about it a little bit and tell us about the last thing that you ate. The last thing I ate is actually my favorite dish overall. It's a lemon chicken, and it is served with the rice with the vermicelli, Lebanese rice. And I just love mixing it all together and soaking up that garlic and lemon all together with the chicken. It's fantastic. I really, really enjoy that food, all of it. And the appetizers, the kibe, the uh, the grape leaves, the labne. Kibe, I find it like, not like a croqueta, but it almost is in the sense that it's a fried little meatball, if you will, but it's got like pine nuts and meat and the flavor inside is just outstanding because of the spices. My favorite, kibine. Okay, and then you, um, let's talk about lebne. It's a strained yogurt and it's just fantastic because I love it with the pita bread just to dip it in there. They have the warm pita bread. We alternate between the labne and the hummus, and it is fantastic, both of them. They have some satar and some olive oil on top. So let's jump right into Greg. Greg, tell us about your experience at Shaddai. At Shaddai, I, well, I love, love, I love Mediterranean food. I, I, I've been eating Mediterranean food, going to Mediterranean restaurants since I was 17, 16 or 17. It's a little bit of a drive for me, but I wanted to go a little bit at, around lunchtime. And I really just went to, to get the things that I like. I always love getting a Jerusalem salad, chopped cucumber, chopped tomatoes, onions, a nice light salad crunchy. I just love eating it anywhere I ever go. Just love it. Just just a nice light and salad. Great leaves. I did. I could not leave. I could I had you know I was getting really full, but I had to get my grape leaves because I love grape leaves. Really nice the rice and the meat grape leaves. Delicious with a nice lemony sauce. Just delicious. Love the grape leaves. So um David, they didn't have outdoor seating, right? Then you didn't want to eat indoors. So you took takeout food, correct? Correct. Right. And, um, you know, it's, it's quite a drive from, from where we live, but Lebanese food is hard to come by. And, and I figured if this has been recommended, let's do this. To me, one of the metrics of a good Lebanese restaurant is, can you make hummus or not? This was, I think, the best I've ever had. And that's saying quite a bit because I've tried it in many places. It was wonderful. Uh, and that, half of my family is Lebanese. So I grew up, my aunts made this food for my cousins and for my brothers and me. So it brought back a lot of great memories because these are the flavors and the labor that goes into making these things that we grew up with and frankly have a hard time truly finding this stuff. The chicken shawarma, is, the chicken is tender. 
It's perfectly prepared because, it, again, it takes time. Very healthy portion. These are things that, frankly, it took us twice to eat through all of this stuff because the portions were so large. It was, frankly, among the best I've ever had. If not, certainly, I've never had better. So tell me a little bit about the location. The location is uh, comfortable. It's open. It's, um, we don't have the outdoor seating, as we stated. However, inside it is very spread out uh, during this COVID time in order to accommodate its guests. Okay. Well, Felipe, should I find Lebanese cuisine was your pick? Sum it up for us. Home-cooked Lebanese food with great flavors and great portions. Greg? Ample portions, a little bit of a schlep for me from Del Rey, but worth the schlep. I love Mediterranean food. This did not disappoint. Loved it. <laughs> David? Delicious, subtle, authentic, and uh, varied. Uh, I could go there 20 times, and I don't think I'd eat the same thing each time. Well, that's great. Yeah. For authentic Lebanese dishes and other Middle Eastern specialties, head on over to Shaddai Fine Lebanese Cuisine, located at 9519 South Dixie Highway in Pinecrest. Open daily for lunch and dinner. Reservations are accepted, and the average price for dinner without drinks is about $35. 